Right guys, so we are at Leaf. I uh, just got this fucking person coming in here as well. Yeah, so we are at Le Coach today. So we're training with my first ever training partner. Training with my brother today. Big, big chess session coming in. He is a man of very few words, so you're probably not going to hear a lot from him today. Uh, but he's older than me. Uh, but I'm stronger, so it's fine. Yeah, buddy. But I look older, so it is what it is. So we're going after it today. A week out, still pushing hard this session. We'll drop that towards the back end, like middle to end of next week, just because there's no need, like recovery's on point. We got food is nice and high as well today. So let's go on with it. Chest, triceps, abs. Yeah. The good shit. Good. Two more. Up. I need a nice. Feel all right? Yeah, I wanna. Yeah. Oh. So, leading on to a point of a slight, not pre-exhausting, but really warming up the target muscle for that muscle group we're training today. So obviously the chest is a big fundamental point of today. So loading up on a fly, where you're working the muscle in like a hyper extended range, past what's given as a standard range of motion, is really gonna work all the muscle fibers that are gonna be at a high to medium risk of injury when you move on to a press. And to so say, at the bottom of a press, where your elbow sits beneath your shoulder, is obviously where your muscle insertion from your chest, upper chest into your shoulder is gonna be really extended. So warming that sort of range up before you go into that press is just going to reduce that risk of injury. Two more. Up. One more. Nice. Heel, mate. So first press of movement, doing a flat line press. Um, great thing about this gym is it has such a wide variety of kit you don't normally see. It's not just like a hammer shrink fill out with a few odd bits and pieces. So some really unique bits of kit in here. Some proper old school bits of kit. That will give Nathaniel the uh, sort of, I'll give him his fucking credence. Like he looks after kit. So it's very rarely you see something out of action more than like, a week, two weeks in it. Let's try and go as strong as we can on this within reason. Understanding that you are weak out. Um, but yeah, still push some heavy weight. And you'll just see like back off in weight the further on to the uh, workout we go, which is pretty normal anyway. But obviously being a week out, you can see that a bit more severely. First working set, yeah? Yep. Come on in. Three, two, one, up! Come My on bar. In. Come on in. Good. Good. Come on. Control, control. Good. Come on. Come on. More. Oh. Oh. Come on, with me now, with me now. Three, two, one. Run. Three, Run. two, one more. Run. Yep. Run. Easy. Run. I could have done three, two, one after the three, two, one. I'll go heavier next set. I've just put it down one. Yeah. And out. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, come on. Finish it. Uh, Give me second. one more. Yep. Let's go there. That was five, wasn't it? Yep. Come on in, six. With you. Yeah, I'm here. Finish. Come on. There we go. You've done it. Control it. Yes. Come on, focus. Make your head back. Get your head back. Come on. That's it. More. Come on. Dunk. Good. And again. Dunk. Good. And again. And again. Dunk. Three, two, one. Three, two, one with me. Three, two, one with me. Three. Come on. I've got you. I've got you. I'll keep you moving. One more. One more. Easy. We're working. And again. And again. Two more minimum. Up. Up. Finish. And again. On. Yep. Deep breath in. Up. Uh. 
the first time he did that, he slammed that down right on my fucking foot. So I'm always paranoid about moving my feet back there. And again, come on. And again. And again. Yeah. Let's go now. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Slower. Uh. Slower. One more. Uh. Good. 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 Yep. Mind your feet. Come on, I'm not spotting you on it. <sighs> Control it, I've got you, one more. Control it, I've got you. Come on, squeeze, I'll keep you moving. Squeeze it, I'll keep you moving, come on. Good, 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 good. I've got you, I've got you. So, the way we're doing this training, there'll be five chest movements with the last one being a bit of a tricep excavation. So what that'll be is a tricep dip. So this machine's still leaning forward to bias the chest. So obviously you're leaning over it, really digging in with the chest. And then we're gonna do some triceps. Two exercises for triceps. Both hitting like the inner and outer head of the triceps or like the long and short head, however you wanna call it. And then obviously finish with some abs, um, which will be one exercise for the core of the abs and then one exercise for the obliques. Uh, and then that that's that done. And then back in tomorrow for that. Another set of 20. Four. Three. Two, one more. Yeah, buddy. Woo. One thing I hasn't told you is he's put it on the wrong fucking way round. You had it like that, so you couldn't get a nice grip on it. So you couldn't, I was gripping it all the wrong way around. If you don't believe me, flip it around. Why are you telling me like I care? Sort it out, it's just the wrong way around, isn't it? Well, I was five reps in before I noticed. <laughs> Come on. Squeeze, good, squeeze. Good. Good. Let's go. Good. One more. Up. There we go. More, 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 more. I'll keep you moving, I'll keep you moving. Keep it in there, keep it there. I've got you, I've got you, come on. Five. <laughs> right, so that is chest and triceps wrapped up. My brother decides he doesn't want to do abs, uh, shot. I'm still yet to see him doing single sit up or front, so. We've now got two sets of crunches, weighted crunches, and two sets of obliques. Now, oblique training is something that me and Tom have implemented quite early on into this prep, which is a first. We've never done it before. Well, I've never done it before um, in my preps. And uh, it's definitely come, it's definitely helped to sort of bring out like the feathering and sort of like the blockiness of the, like, not blockiness, but like the striations of the obliques, especially as we get close to the show. Um, and also, rather than doing sort of like sets of 20, doing actually like heavy sets of eight to 12, training exactly as you would, sort of like a normal muscle group. Typically in the past, I've always done like hanging leg raises, sets of 20, crunches, sets of 20, 25. Um, never have I ever done like heavy ab training. So you see like here, everything is weighted, quite reasonably weighted where you struggle to get around that 10 rep, rep mark. 
So we've got two sets on here, each side, and then two sets of crunches to finish. You think the darkness is your ally? I was born in. You rolling? Right, so that is chest done uh, with my brother. So OG training partner, still train with him, uh, except when I was obviously up at uni. That's the last heavy chest session before first show. Um, so obviously the next probably, next time you see me train with Ben, will probably be after the second show. But um, we'll be taking some behind the scenes stuff, sort of taking you with me. Um, now that I've obviously got a camera, so hopefully grab some decent content. And uh, that was a really, really good session. There was actually a couple of PBs on there, which is great to see at one week out from a show. Obviously not going too mental, still going heavy, but like being respectful of that, because obviously you're so susceptible to injury right now. So really good session. And uh, hopefully we'll be progressing. And the next video, I should obviously try and obviously have a trophy with me as well. Perfect.